So, you want to send emails from your Unity game. Well, you've come to the right place. My name is Matthew Ventures, and I've made a ton of games, including No Stranger, which has over a million downloads and uses a lot of the techniques we will see today. Now, one of the things that, uh, an interesting word, let's say, that I discovered in my journey of game development has been the word telemetry. Telemetry is a beautiful word, and it means transferring data from your game uh, somewhere else. For reporting software, uh, there's a ton of reasons why you might want to use telemetry. Um, but there's a particular medium of email, which is one way that you could send telemetry. Um, it's one way that we can communicate from Unity. And I've narrowed down three reasons why you might want to send an email. The first is for two-factor authentication. This is an extra layer of player account security as seen in games like RuneScape and Rainbow Six Siege. The second reason is players can give you feedback. I have a report a bug message in uh, all of my Unity games as a way for someone to let me know if something's broken um, or if they just want to give me feedback. All, both great options. And then the last thing that comes to my mind is if you might want to secretly send an email to yourself. Maybe you notice that a player is uh, maybe doing something naughty. They have a little bit more gems than they should, or they're rising through the player ranks uh, really fast. And you think, you know what? I want to highlight this user, track them, see what they're doing, learn a little bit more about uh, why this power user is having such a good time. These are all great reasons for sending an email in Unity, and I have two ways that we can do it. So the first way is going to involve creating a fake email account. Essentially, we're just going to create a throwaway Gmail, and we're going to be able to send a direct email um, from that account. Oh. Sorry about that. We're going to be able to send a correct email from that email address uh, to that email address, just an email to ourselves essentially. But we'll collect data from Unity to send along. And then the next option we'll be able to do is send a message to a server which can then forward the message to us. And the reason why we might want to go to a server is because Unity actually has a restriction for WebGL games. So if your game's going to be hosted on a website like itch.io or something like that, we're not going to be able to send a direct email, so we're going to have to take this circuitous approach. Okay, so let's get into it. Our first step is going to be creating an email. So let's go to Gmail right here, and we're going to come up with a, uh, with, with I don't know, what's going to be my name? My name's going to be, um, I am the coder. Coder boy, um, let's go with that. Coder boy, six thousand, and uh, the password is going to be the username plus three exclamation points. Let's see how that goes. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to skip the phone number, skip the email. We're going to have to come up with something here. Pick a random day rather not say and now we're in we've got a gmail account folks we are halfway there so with this awesome little gmail account what we're going to do is jump into unity and i've got something special for you here um, i've created a scene with a text field and a button that says submit so nothing too crazy um, we also have a script here called emailer which has both of those items as custom um, per, uh, parameters. It, it, it's got them as serialized fields. So I can double click on that emailer script. Let's get a zoom in here, show you what we're working with, the emailer.cs file. I want to reiterate at this point that if you are interested in using this code, all of it will be available for download in the description along with a text version of this guide if you prefer that versus the video. Um, but I'm going to walk you through that text uh, this text file if you'd like. Um, that will include uh, several using statements. We're going to be using .NET in order to send our emails. The next thing we want to have here is our email address and password. Um, let me put that in now before I forget. We are the coder boy. And that's going to be the sender. That's also going to be the receiver because we're sending an email to ourselves. And coder boy 6000 bang 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 is going to be our password. Fantastic. Um, we're going to talk about the URL in a second option. We don't need that for the first option, which is the direct email. 
Um, next thing that we need to do is the start method. We just need to check, make sure our fields are not null, and then create a button, which if you push the submit button, will send our message in an email. If we're gonna send directly, we'll jump directly into this send an email message. Otherwise, we'll call a different function entirely called send server request for email. Um, but we're gonna be going with the send an email right now, and for that, there are three simple steps. We create the mail uh, using the mail message. So I'm just filling in the sender, the receiver here, and then I'm going to create a SMTP client server. So what that's going to allow us to do is send a message through Gmail once it authenticates our username and password. Finally, we send the message to the server and print the results. So that's actually all we need to do to get this working. I am going to jump back into Visual Studio now, check the send direct button, and push play. Let's get that going. All right, and here we go. So this is a, this is a direct message and you know what I'm just gonna include the time there too this is 8 43 p.m. Uh, though 8 43 p.m. though this should send pretty much instantly I'm gonna push submit uh, it does look like we got a little bit of lag there but down here I see email success and I should be able to just jump into that email we created let's do that now coder boy how you doing and once I go into my inbox, we should see that we got a new message. Fantastic, here it is. Oh, all right, let's close all that. We don't need to talk to Andy. Let's open up this email. Here we go, and Coder Boy's direct message at 8.43 p.m. received at 8.43. So it was practically instant, um, really fast. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the securitist method. So we've got that Unity firewall that's preventing us from sending messages to the game we want to. We're gonna create a server that lives above the firewall and allows us to go all the way over it. In order to do that, we're going to need a script that lives on our server. So let's investigate that first. I'm gonna jump, um, let's jump back into Visual Studio here. And I'm gonna show you the second script we'll be using today called emailer.php. And what that script does is it first creates this header which will allow us to send messages back to Unity. Next, it's checking for a form. Whenever we go to a website, it's basically a request. Usually, we don't send any data. Um, however, when we're going to be sending this web request, we are going to be including some data so that we can uh, make use of this message, essentially send whatever we want to from Unity. So we're going to be filling this request with the following variables, name, to email, from email, and message. And so what this code right here is doing is it's just confirming that we have those different parameters within the field or within the form we're sending. The next thing we do is we read from the form and save it into these local variables. And then what we wanna do here is actually create some headers which will help to trick Gmail and hopefully thinking it's not a spam message. Gmail has some great spam features, but unfortunately their spam filter is a little bit too good. And sometimes it will think, if we're sending a lot of messages, for example, that it's spam. So we include this header just to confuse them a little bit. Um, and that is actually uh, enough in order for us to um, get through to the inbox, even though it's a little bit slow. Okay, and all we need to do at that point is call our mail message, and then we will, depending on the success, either echo success, or if there's an error message, we print the error message. So what I'm gonna do is actually copy um, this script because we're going to upload this now to an online website. So let us do that. I found an awesome website called 000webhost.com which allows us to basically create a server for free which for an indie dev uh, is a blessing in disguise. Uh, it's, a, it's a blessing and it looks like a blessing. It's wonderful because we have no money. So let's jump into it. Um, we're going to need a Put in our email address here so let me just paste that in coder boy here we are and our password why don't we use the same password because that's a good idea bang 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 sign up make it happen where's the bicycle it's right there and also over there i think let's see am i a robot this would be a good time to find out and i made it okay awesome now they're gonna send you a confirmation email. I did miss that message. I was waiting at this loading screen for quite some time before 
But here it is, the confirm your email. Click here to verify. Fantastic, and now we're in. Now, this website is a little bit slow. It's a little bit jank, but it is free, so I do love it for that reason. Um, and what we're going to do is create a new site here. And hmm, let's, well, you know what? Let's just call ourselves the Coder Boy 6000 website. Oh, the Coder Boy 6000 website. <laughs> and uh, we'll make the password. Well, you know, I mean, we're on a roll at this point. Why change the formula? Let's set that up. So we're going to need to be practicing our patience now as we wait. Web stuff is known for being a little bit slow relative to other kinds of coding, but I think we've got it figured out now. So we're going to, you know, we could make a beautiful looking website using their tool or WordPress or Wix, but we don't need any of that. We're just going to go right here to upload now where we can immediately upload um, that code we wrote. So I'm going to create a new file and this is going to be called emailer.php. Fantastic. And we just want to edit that file. So let's go in here, push edit. And now we want to paste in that code we copied. Let me see, do I? Oh, I don't have it on my clipboard anymore. Let's go grab that code again, copy it up, go to the website, paste it in, push save. And now this website, as I said, is a little jank. So I always double check, make sure that did paste in correctly. It looks good to me. What we're going to want to do now is click view. And what we see here is bad data exiting. And I, I know what you might be thinking. Matthew, you steered me wrong. This is horrible. We got bad data. Clearly, shit's hit the fan. Something went wrong. But this is all according to plan. And that's because we didn't send a form. We wrote in our code right here. Where is it? Right here that we need to make sure we have the following fields. We never sent that with a standard request. So this is actually fantastic. We just need to copy that address and tell Unity that's where it needs to send the form. Because if we don't send the form, it is going to break. So I'm going to jump back into Unity here and I'm not going to click the send direct button anymore. And what that's going to allow us to do is go to the second part of this statement, the else, where we are going to send that server request. Before I forget though, this is a great place to paste your URL for, so you don't forget. And you know what? Why not throw in the website name and password here as well? Um, just another place to recall it. Now, this brings up a good point, which is that there's a reason we're not using our real email for this. Since we need to reference our username and password in the source code, it's not very safe. So someone could look in the source code and steal this stuff. Uh, thankfully, for this purpose, it wouldn't really matter. We're going to be fine. But I think that's a really good reason to create a throwaway if you're going to be using this system, uh, just in case somebody does hack into your source code. So we've got our URL there. Let's check out what send server request for email does. It actually spawns a coroutine, so that's pretty quick. And the reason why you might want to use a coroutine is if you need to wait. And that's exactly what we'll be doing here. There's only a few steps here. But we'll be creating the form we talked about. This is going to avoid us getting that bad data error. Then we're going to submit the form using a www request. And then I want to call your attention to this line right here. So um, it's saying yield return www. And I could translate that for us. It's saying wait until www is done. All right. So it's going to take a little bit more time, this message. Um, before we get a receipt of whether or not it was a success. And if it's a success, we'll print so. If not, we will print that error. So let's save that script, jump back into Unity, and we should be ready to go. Here we go, push and play. Now we're gonna say, this is the long way. And I'm also gonna include a time code here, 8.51 p.m. Let's send that over. And if you saw, it did say sent, and then there was a little bit of a delay, and then it said WW success. So this is telling us the message was successfully sent from the website, though it may take some time before it actually gets to our Gmail account. So I'm going to jump over there now, just in case it was particularly fast. But it's more likely than not, we might need to wait a little bit. So let's see, 000 said hello to me a few times. I am going to check my spam. Oh, and here it is. 
So the message did go to my spam, um, which will happen sometimes, right? We do want to try to convince Gmail uh, that we're not a spam filter uh, or that we're not a spam message. So we do want to report this as not spam. That way, if future emails are sent in this way, Gmail does not flag them. Um, but let me go back to my inbox to see it now. Um, this was actually really fast. So it also got it within 851, 851. So it was also done in about a minute. Um, however, that is the longer way. If you can do it through the direct message, you know, if you're using a mobile game or anything like that, that's always much better. I'd like to remind you that this tutorial is available in a text format via the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, a comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can cover next because I'd love to make more tutorials like this one. Thank you.